How's it going everyone? Lunar here and in today's video I want to go over whether or not ESEA is worth it. So I hope you all enjoy the video and if you do be sure to let me know by hitting that like button down below and also let me know if you'd like to see some live ESEA gameplay down in the comments as well. So first things first when subscribing to ESEA you receive access to ESEA's launcher, 128 tick servers, and access to leagues. The biggest benefit is 128 tick servers with a lot better hit, re hit registration than 64 tick. If you've never played a 128 tick server then the best thing to do is to find a 128 tick server in the community server tab or possibly trying out a free option such as Faceit or Sevo. The hit registration between a 128 tick server and 64 tick is tremendous. After playing for even a few seconds and getting your first kills, you'll notice the difference right away. All those shots you thought to yourself, man, that should have been a headshot or how did that guy not die, actually hit their mark on a 128 tick server. You'll definitely feel like you're playing a lot better compared to how you normally felt when playing matchmaking, especially when you try to go back to play matchmaking is where you'll see the major difference. Another thing that is nice about ESCA is there are ranks on there, so once again it gives you more incentive to play and rank up, but unlike matchmaking you'll be playing with people of a higher skill cap and people who generally want to win matches. This does help tremendously because you won't get people who are just goofing off and throwing matches. When playing with people of a higher skill cap and playing with people who are more motivated to win, it tends to rub off on you and can help you improve at the game a ton. When I first started playing ESCA, about two years ago I was awful compared to the people I was playing with and at times I felt like I couldn't do anything for my team but this actually helped me improve a lot because it pushed me to play to the skill of my teammates and the other team and being able to watch people play who are better than you lets you notice your flaws in your play style and where you can improve and what you should change to improve the main thing in my opinion that makes ESCA worth it is the fact of it not being free. I know Face It and Sevo have even gotten better over time, but with both of them being free, you still have people who will get extremely toxic, who will throw games, and who are just overall messing around. ESCA is also the best option for people who are serious at the game, especially in North America because of rank G and rank S. In Europe, the best option is Face It because pro players play FPL more. For the ranking system in ESEA, it goes from D to A, then you have your minuses in between such as A minus, B minus, C minus, etc. Once in rank A, you have to essentially qualify to be put into rank G. I believe you have to play a certain amount of games each month just to keep up, but this is where you will get your semi-pros, people who are on their way to being pros and wanting to go pro in CSGO in rank G. But after being, I believe, the top player in rank G, you can get transferred into rank S and play alongside with pros, and maybe even eventually get scouted to a team or asked to do scrimmages or anything like that. But there's definitely a lot more to it, but that is just a brief summary essentially of how it works or how it could work. And this is great for players who are very serious about the game and want to improve and possibly strive to be pro one day. But overall, in my opinion, I think ESEA is definitely worth it, especially for only $6. But let me know what you all think down in the comments, and let me know if you'd like to see any ESEA live gameplay. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and if you did, then be sure to let me know by hitting that like button down below. My name is Lunar, and I'll catch you all with another video next time.